beautiful music, right? I know all Liberians love this music. <laughs> Few million for team member. Just look up to the um, topics. All right. We're going to discuss that topics together today. Just look up to the topics, all right? We're going to discuss that today together, all right? Try to prepare um, your view about the topics, all right? I think this music is nice, right? A beautiful Liberian music, all right? just 10, 10 minutes of entertainment then after this 10 minutes of entertainment we're gonna go strictly to the topics all right all right i think together we're gonna discuss this and uh, prepare your comments all right prepare your comments and uh, also prepare your views and uh, i think the topic is gonna be very very nice All right, somebody already said, not all Liberians speak English. Also, what happened? If so, what happened if you are in Madingo and you need a passport, uh, I mean, Liberian passport, so what happened? All right, that's what we're going to be discussing here today. Or if you are a basser, or if you are, a, you know, uh, um, the, the massive Liberian population. All right, so what happened? All right, you're going to tell us today, because this time we're not going to keep something hidden. We're going to be talking about everything so that things can be okay. All right. Liberia. Ha. It's your day. It's your day, man. All right. All right. Just look up to the topics, all right? I think today we're going to discuss that together, because this time something that uh, will actually, you know, um, affect our peace, we need to be looking up to them. Liberia. Our day, we are free. So So what happened if you are a Madingo, you need a Liberian passport and then you cannot speak English? So why you think that's going to happen? Time for the interview. All right, prepare your comments. Do you think all Liberians speak English? All buses? More especially those in the rural areas? All Pele? Do you think so? Prepare a comment. Keep coming. 
All right. So get up, going to discuss this today. Something that's going to affect the peace, we have to talk about them right now so that something can be done about it. We are free. I think together we're going to discuss this today. All right. Everybody going to be given a chance to call and tell us why you think. What is your view? All right. If you call here, you're not going to talk more than five minutes. All right. Just be brief, short, and straight to the point. All right. All right, six more minutes to entertainment, all right? So prepare your your comments. Keep coming comments. Already, Ibrahim Masai said, not all Liberians speak English. And uh, Henry Vafi uh, Tami Dukle said, no. Um, his comment is not in detail because he just said no, so we don't know why he made no what. You got to tell us so we can read it to the audience and then they're going to know why you're trying to say him. We are free. It's our day. Yep. Almost 170 years. Our day in Abibu. We have to talk something together. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, all right, he just sent the message back, and uh, the comment is here now from Henry Vafi Tami Duplin, all right, he said, Brother Turin, I believe that not all Liberians speak English, but 65% of Liberians speak English, all right. What about the other uh, the other thirty five percent? They don't speak English, all right. So if they need passport, Liberian passport, what's happening? More especially if you are Madingo, all right. So that's the question today. Oh, maybe uh, Pele, DC, uh, Va, Loma, whatsoever tribe you are. If you need a passport, and then you can speak English. So, what is the influence that is given? All right. Tell us exactly what you think, and tell us exactly what is the truth. All right. We need a truth. We are free. All right, time to call. Um, you're gonna toss the little video button on the right hand side at the bottom, so that you can be live, and then you express your view to the audience, and then they're gonna guess strictly what you mean. All right. We are free. All right, four more minutes uh, to end the entertainment and go strictly to the point, okay? I know this topic is very interesting because many people experience this. It happens to many people. All right. Oh, I think today Ibrahim Masari gonna call because he keeps coming. Uh, he keeps sending the comments. Um, the comments is coming, man. And uh, he just sent uh, a message. Just send a comment. All right. Ibrahim Mande Masa Masare. All right. He said there should be expert uh, in every tribe at the passport area to identify whether you are a Liberian or not, in order, in order to hear those 
new Liberians who do not speak English get passport. All right. We are free. Okay. All right, here Buffy, Tammy Duplessis, and Brother Ture, I believe not all Liberians speak English, but 65% of Liberians speak English. All right. All right, prepare your comments. Get ready when we call you. All right, so you can have something better to say, shut, and it uh, should be straight to the point. Yeah, if you just joining us, my name is Mohammed Manjuturi here today, present to you this wonderful topic that we're going to discuss together. All right, life in New Jersey. All right, United States of America. All right, we get our first caller here, and um, uh, we haven't introduced the topic yet, but uh, I think he already reads the topics, and then he want to be part of the show live. So we got our first caller here today, and uh, we're going to give him the opportunity to call, and uh, he's uh, Ibrahim Mandem Masari. So I think he's going to come on and share us why. Okay. Our first color will soon be here. Masai is here. Uh, brother, your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, Ibrahim Mande Masai Masai calling from Nigeria, North Africa. All right. So, what do you think about today's topic? And uh, be brief, short, and uh, make enough sense. Oh, uh, anyway, thank you very much. For having me also thank you for raising this important topic because it is very important for our country you know my view about this is like i say in my comment is good to implore experts in every trap i mean the system trap of liberia to identify the real liberian among those liberians that do not speak English. You know, speaking English cannot even make you a Liberian. Exactly. English is not our language. English exactly. is not our trap. Exactly. I'm not forced to speak English. You see, there are a lot of people. I, I experienced this before. In Nimba, I went to Nimba. Behind Sanikole, behind Zogowe, way in the bush. I saw people. I never knew this. I saw people there. I thought it is only Madungo people who don't speak English. I saw a lot of people, both Gyu, Mano, who do not speak English? A lot of people. You see, I experienced this too in Lofa. I've seen this many, many places. Even in Cape Town, I experienced this. So, I don't think not speaking English cannot is not the right thing to deny someone from getting passports. It's better to employ somebody who is expert. Or, for example, the more system people they can employ system persons who speak English. Uh, people who speak English, people Madingo, they speak all the system trap. So when the Madingo men come, or when somebody comes from Lofa, you say you are from Lofa, they ask you, okay, which trap? If you cannot speak English, they ask you, which trap you speak? If you speak I think you need to be horrible. I don't think that the audience are hearing you clearly. I'm saying that all there right. should be experts. There should be experts. You understand? Yeah. People who understand all the, all the system trap. You know, a representative from every tribe should be there at the passport area to help those who do not speak English. Because there are a lot of Liberians that, look, like somebody says, if the five percent of Liberians speak English, then what about the balance thirty-five percent who do not speak English? 
So if I if I borrow the sister passes uh, the uh, thirty five percent, I do not speak English. But I be denied not to get my passport. That's wrong. You see, there should be people who speak all the so the English is not forced. It's not forced to speak English. Even though it's good to learn it because it is our official language. In other countries, in other countries, they have a lot of official languages. You see? So I don't think that is fair. There should be people who know how to speak all these people's crap. So if a Madingo man comes, he does not speak Madingo, he doesn't speak Madingo. They ask him Madingo, where are you from? Asking all the information in Madingo. It's good. That's how it's supposed to be. We should look at our country. Go to Mali. You see somebody getting passed for the they really speak French. They speak Bamara. Some do not speak Bamara, in fact. Some only speak Fulani. You go to Senegal. You see people, they don't speak anything. They speak only Wolof. Gambia, you see people, they only speak Madenka. Ghana, they sing. So, I don't think really it's better to, to deny somebody. You have two more minutes to go. So, what do you have to tell the people of Liberia, more especially the government? What do you really have to tell them? What, I, I, what really I have to say, what, what I what I have to say, what I have to say to the Liberian government is to implore people who speak. People from I think you need to be a little bit vulnerable so that the audience can get your view clear. They should implore people from the from from the sixty trial. They should implore people from the sixty trap that will help translate. That will help translate the, uh, the language, the dialect those people will be speaking to the passport area. If you are a Madingo man, there should be somebody that will translate Madingo to, to, to the passport or to, to, to the people that gave the passport. That's what I have to say to the Liberian government. Yeah. All right. All right, uh, brother Masare Mande Masa, uh, if you wish to call again, you can. We you still yeah. have a chance to call, but uh, we don't want to keep people on here for longer time because we have so many people that wish to. Call. Thank you. Thank you. For having me. Anything, I will get back. Right, I will let you know. So many people that we I'm watching, okay? And express their view. So um, you can okay. still call back if you wish. But uh, um, once your first five minutes is expired, so we're going to give the chance to the others to explain. And then you can prepare another important sources again. And then you call back and give us that as well. All right. Our okay. first female right. callers is here. So we're going to give uh, um, a chance to express herself. And uh, gave us the duty of what she think that uh, that would be the solution. So um, our first female caller is here. All right, Mafata is here. All right, I think she's gonna come on, and then uh, let me try to add her here. Uh, This topic is very important, all right? This is very, although the topic is very short, but it's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. um, good morning, madam. Uh, for my side, yeah, your name and where are you calling from, my son? Well, my name is Mafanta Melita Kuma, and I'm calling from Monrovia. Specifically on the University of Liberia campus. Uh, yeah, that uh, you need to be a little bit so that the audience can get you clear. Uh, I think you have a okay. very important point to make here today. Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, the the audience will determine whether it's important or not. Well, the couple the, right, the, the cool. topic discussion is interesting, but then there are two faults of him. There are two faults when it comes to this issue. Specifically, let's make emphasis on our own trap, the Madingo people. During the war, a lot of librarians flew out of the country. Uh, some were afraid to come back because of the situation or because they were afraid in what else is. And these people stay away for so long until the, everything about them changed. They adapt the other system on the other side. So now, 
Uh, maybe their children, suppose, we expect their kids to be a librarian, but they don't have anything about a librarian in them. So when they come back here, they cannot defend themselves. They are being denied citizenship. But there are some of our colleagues too that travel out of the country, like go abroad in the States and what have you. Uh, due to some circumstances, uh, they declare nat they, they naturalize themselves into this country. And they're coming back, they claim that they are Liberian. Um, one may say they are Liberian, but when you look at the constitution too, it one country they are lost the citizenship to Liberia. So now, let's look back to the ordinary people. The ordinary people, uh, not let, let's take for example, those in the rural areas, because we interact with them. Not many of them speak English. But then there are people too that are, they can be quick to recognize these people then are. But the interpreter here is this. My Dingo people have been one of the main people that have been victims of these things. Our uncles or brothers travel out, the most of them were in Guinea, Africa, and all of you because of the war. And then they came back, or their kids came back, their kids, because of the arson, they are being denied citizenship. Because of the arson, they don't, they are not, uh, they don't have the right to speak like other people. They don't have the right to express their feelings. If you was oh, this is that. So they are marginalized. This is why we say uh, we are the marginalized here in Liberia. Looking at the passport aspect, why they don't have uh, members of the citizenship shop in yeah, the foreign affairs in terms of passport? I think we should be looking at cost here too. Our economy is very poor. That is not like other countries. We cannot compare ourselves to other countries at this level. Our budget is not to that extent. So if we try to do that, it's another cost. It's going to cost the country a huge uh, uh, like sum of money to pay all of these people and other stuff. So now there are ways in people up when I've gone to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to get a passport. I'm on my dingo. I was questioned, I went through the interview, I went through immigration process, and I got mine. But everybody would not be like me because I speak English and I can defend myself. But there are others who cannot yeah, you can defend yourself. yourself and anyway. then another, issue our, another issue in our problem is this. There are people too that come there from our spa, but they are not a Liberian. That's one thing we should look at. These are some of the people that uh, put Liberia to, let's say, let's say uh, bring that kind of a hint to the Liberian, typical Liberian Madingo squad. Because they come, they are not a Liberian. Sometimes you interact with them and ask them questions, they will tell you, I'm not a Liberian. They'll be glad to tell you this. But due to some issues, uh, there will be people, you'll see people somewhere like telling them, uh, go, you have to do that, you have this project, or maybe the person want to the person want to go to the state, they want to do something else, and they don't want to pass through Liberia. They'll come and they want to demand a passport. And then sometimes they themselves will say I, uh, before these people that I'm not a Liberian. So look at that. Because of these things, and people now try to like relate it to everyone. Now they say, oh, like, uh, Madino people, or they do this, they're not Liberians and other stuff. We know the history. We can predict, we can explain the history, but then we need, we need to be mindful when we, are this, we, when we are addressing this issue because it's sensitive and it's complicated. There are others that are not doing that, but there are others that are not doing that. But still, we don't do that. So, we check for things that are not doing that. All right, so thank All right. you. Our so, uh, you have. Uh, Two more minutes here. What do you have to tell the people of Liberia, more especially the government, in order to um, deal with that kind of situation? All right. Uh, well, it is in the interest of Liberia, right? Whatever we do should be in the interest of Liberia. But I think there should be a mechanism put in place to be able to deal with such issue, right? Like, for, let's say, for example, it, it is now time that we have our national identity card wherein our librarians will be identified. But now we don't have a national identity card. Many librarians think it depends on the voter registration card as a national identity, which, of course, is not, even though it's a bit close to it, but it is not a national identity card. So now my recommendation to the librarian government or whosoever is, is, will be in authority, whether this year or the, let's say this region or the next region, we should try to uh, bring in national identity card system wherein 
citizens will be identified, librarians will be identified, not people, not other people coming for you, or not a specific group of people being denied citizenship. If we all have our identity card, definitely there will be no argument. Because the card will speak for you, right? Yep. All right. Mapata, somebody already sent a comment right. here. They said, somebody sent an important comment here. They said, Mafata, you are making a good point. I mean, the person said, that's a good point, Mafata. So I think what you are saying is really, really, oh, really? you know, is it has a fact. Yeah, that's a fact because people like it and uh, people, you know, a lot of people are listening to you right now and, you know, giving us exactly, yeah. I mean, giving us exactly what you think and what is the, the writing and short brief and it makes enough sense. So thank you very much for being part of us. If you wish to call again, um, you can still call back if you have any additional statement to say, uh, like, uh, you know, yeah, because those kinds of stuff, right? Time. If those stuff are respect and our peace in a country will be respected forever. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you have another additional comments, right, or statement to say live, and then you can call back. But a lot of people trying to come online, we're going to give them a chance to, you know, give their view as well. So thank you very much for being here today. All right, that was Martha. She made a very interesting point. And uh, I think you guys was listening to um, to her. She expressed, she expressed her, her view and uh, it was very, very amusing. Henry Buffy, okay, he said I wish you invite him. All right. He said we should invite him. Henry said we should invite him. So let me say something here. Uh, Perry, you need to touch the little video button at the middle of, I mean, on the right hand side, at the bottom side, all right, so that uh, your invitation can come through. We're going to add you live, all right? Somebody say, please call me, European car specialist. Hey, all right, let me try to call her. All right. She, Somebody is coming on live, you know, to tell exactly what she thinks about the topics. If you are just joining us, just look up. All right, the person is here. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon from my side. Oh, all right. Good afternoon. Um, your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Bessa. I'm calling from the UK. All right. Uh, the audience yeah. are only seeing you, your little head. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can you guys see uh, me now? All right, uh, they are seeing uh, you. Yeah, I was say, just watching the video, and uh, at is it is it where what her name Famata or something like that? The girl, exactly. I guess, or the, the lady that was just online, and yeah, she Mafanta. make uh, yeah, Mafanta. Yeah, she make little bit, she makes some good points. You know, the mm -hmm. problem where Labrador facing today, uh, how will you run a country where you don't you don't know uh, who coming in the country, who going out? You understand it. That, mm -hmm. is, that is one of the big problems. When you don't have a status, you don't know who going out, who coming in, and end of the day, because a person can't speak English, you are denied, and you say, oh, you, you are not Liberian or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So I believe the problem in there, the government should really sit down, and we, the problem we should have system, because the country is not running with system, and when the country not running with system, thing will never be in place. You can't just you can't just look at me and say you because you speak like this, you are not librarian. And secondly, also the point where she make that you know when people many people using librarian uh, document to commit crime to do many things at the end of the day, it put many many librarian where they the paper, it put them also in danger. You understand? For example, here if I have to do any document, I have to go librarian. Because now many people have damaged librarian record in Europe here. Ghanaian, Nigerian, let me just call that name, you know, take fake document. They will go through librarian. They will say, okay, I'm a librarian. End of the day, they do crime and they put on the system. So you know that hey, the government also, people was, people was aware. They say, okay, anybody who have to do any document and you have to come down here and prove yourself if you are a librarian. So my advice to the government is, Thing have to be in system, you know, like what she said, the little ID card, they can at least find 
way that, that everyone's have it, you know, who coming from Guinea, who coming from Africa, who coming from Liberia, it will be very easy to do. Thank you very much, brother. You still have some minutes. You still have three more minutes to go, but uh, your point is very, 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 very much more interesting. All right. And mm -hmm. I think this is the fact because if you are running a country without a system, Definitely, you will have to know, you will know that uh, those that come in and those that are going out, you're not going to know. Yeah. And your passport denial shouldn't be lies on, on your English speaking, on your language barrier. I think this is, uh, th this, this is totally wrong, all right? Because we realize that more Liberians, more especially the rural areas, they don't speak English. So what happens when they need the passport? So, you know... Sometimes they feel like you are now a Liberian. Why you yeah, are? It will, sometimes it, it would be it would be a, if you go there, it would be like guessing. Okay, uh, my man, should we give him a passport? And uh, you know, it would it would decide on their own. But exactly. It, normally, you don't have to be there. That everything have to go on. You know, in the system. They, yeah, they, if, they if Liberia, they have to represent you. Yeah, if Liberia have a system and exactly those things, I think it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't yeah. think so. And that's why uh, Ibrahim Masarin said. He said that uh, in order to, I think, handle those situations, all right, those people, right, um, in the passport department, they all the 16 tribes have to get, uh, I mean, they have to have uh, a representatives that can translate their language over, you know, to, the, to those that are issuing the passport. Like yeah, that, he yeah. said like that, everything going to be okay. But I think the point that you make really, it really, really touched me. And I'm going to write yeah, that. The, the problem, the problem yeah. here is, for example, uh, uh, see, I'm a Dutch. I can come in Liberia today. I speak normal English. I do anything. I can just cross the border. You understand it? Because we access showing no document. So how will you, how, because that will increase the criminal rate. You understand it? People coming in a country doing fake things, doing dam the damaging thing, and crossing the country day and night. You, okay, we read to the border. Okay, yeah, where are you coming from, Liberia? Like, Farm, drug cross. So it's no, it's no security, you know, access on a particular thing because we are a the car. A John Lola, for example, let me just give you a, a, a little example. You know, car, right? Any car where they make the gain a shashi normal or the gain a registration normal, it means that if that person hates you, you can track that normal to get you. You understand? Exactly. That's some more in Labro. Car driving with no plate, you can hit somebody, child, you just run easily. You go and mm -hmm. hire yourself. Where, do, where would they find you? Nothing in the system. So it's really, really difficult. It's Look, really difficult. In order to, to add more to what you just said, my friend, I have a friend here, a real, you know, friend. I mean, friend, you know. He's a Liberian. I'm a Liberian, but uh, he from, I think he's, uh, I think, crew, something like that. And I'm a Madingo, right? Yeah. His car just got missing, I think, three mo two months ago in United States here. But because of those lesson place scenarios that you are giving, the people were able to find a car and bring mm -hmm. it right to his house. You see that? All right. So we need to get a system. Like that, it's going to help a lot. It will help a lot, yeah. It will help. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, brother. Your time finished, and we even go one more, I mean, one minute over. So um, thank you okay, for being you. here. And if you have more comments coming in, you can stay calm on later. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right, somebody was uh, calling, but uh, um, all right, the person go away. And uh, let me try Bapi again. Bapi. Um, I'm finding a little bit difficult to add you here. Let me try to make a comment. See. Um, so if you just joining us, um, check on the topics above, and then you're going to exactly know what we are talking about. All right? So... Buffy, I need to add you today. I need to do all my possible best so that, okay, I need to add you today. Really. I think this guy have a very important message for the people of Liberia. All right. 
So, um, Vafi, I send you the invitation. And uh, so and now I think we're going to see the green light. I already sent you the invitation. All right, if you want to call, you can hit the video, uh, uh, the, 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 the little video uh, body, I mean, sound at the bottom side so you can be live. And uh, tell the Liberian people, all right, somebody is here, Koma A3. All right. Um, you only have five minutes to express your self, express your view, tell us what you think. All right. So tell us exactly, be brief, short, and make enough sense to the people of Liberia. All right. Yeah. Good afternoon, brother. Hello. Uh, Didi, yeah, good, afternoon. Uh, yeah, good afternoon. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm calling from Germany. Germany. All right. Your name? Uh, Brian. Yeah, Brian what? Eric Bryant. Mm -hmm. Okay, Eric Bryant from Germany. You are live. The audience yeah. are listening to you. Yeah, well, uh, I just... Observe the topic, you know, somebody just shared a video and they came on my timeline. The, the topic is interesting. But uh, right. the fact of the matter is that, you know, uh, like what my brother, that guy was saying previously, he said, uh, on the way, maybe people traveling to pull along, other people have been disturbed, all those kind of issues, you know. But really, in Liberia, we does not have a system. You understand me? Okay. Like for other countries around here where you see, like, Hello? Hello? Yeah, everybody is listening to you. All the audience yeah. listening to you. Okay. So people using their international their, their international passport only to say maybe I'm a passenger, I'm a library. People say, yeah, you go. Because this is how things pour everywhere around the world. Like for instance, you see the people use their national article. But in Liberia, you will see people only are, are, are legible to get National article only voter registration time, and that alone is not something that maybe you can stand on travel to another country and then irrespective of it because the people use national article even instead of the passport once you are in the West African states. You understand? But mm -hmm. in Liberia, we somehow you will, you will be about to travel before you win the you obtain a birth certificate. You understand? These are things yeah. that you know they, they, they maybe the new setting government have to work on it, maybe. The, the, the incoming government should do something great about it because it's very important. You understand? Because you can't yeah. find us where to identify us. It's very difficult, my, my brother. I don't know where you are, but on a serious note, even in the United States, you will see people with their national ID. It doesn't matter that you, you should get a green card, you should get your passport, you should get other set the, the document before you should know that you are a born citizen of that country. You understand? Exactly. This is an error. I'm currently in the United States. Yeah, this is this is very big error. You understand me? So maybe we, you know, I, I'm I'm so excited, you know, that a young man like you, you know, just came on and then bringing topic, you know, very good and interesting topic like this that people will discuss, and you know, that maybe other people back there that are listening to some of us outside the country, you know, that they will get. Yeah, these guys are not there for nothing. These guys are there, you know. Thinking of dream back home, thinking what to what to improve Labrador like, with the next twenty to thirty years to come. And, you know, these these are things that we expect many of our young guys to be doing, like what you are doing. So I'm um, happy so, to be on this show. I'm so happy on, to be participating on this show. All right. So you have two more minutes. What do you have to tell the people of Liberia or even the government of Liberia in order to have solution to um, these kinds of problems? I want um. You know, I just a person, uh, I'm a Liberian as well, so I, I urge the people back there that they should help us talk to the people there, that the new government, by the grace of God, let them give us the opportunity to get right to our own country citizen card, at least to identify. 
that yes, indeed, people will know you if you come to Guinea. People will say, yeah, this is from Liberia. You don't have to travel with your passport, your West African state passport, before people know you to be a Liberia, you know? So let, let the people help us do all these things. It's important. Let them help us do all these things. These are some of the things we need our people to do. The new government, let them do it for us. So all right. Thank you, thank you very much, brother, for being here today. We really appreciate your point and all your, your, your appreciation to we that are hosting the show. Thank you so much for being here. If you have another important comment, you can stay, prepare them, and uh, call back and give us that as well. All right. So the others are waiting online. We're going to um, invite them as well. Thank okay. you. Okay. Have a pleasant weekend. Same to you, brother. All right. Love for all Liberian people. All right. Mr. Mohammed Dukle is here and uh, he has something important to tell the people of Liberia. Oh, my, you know, it's good to be a good student. My teacher is here watching me live right now. Her son, Francis, he's here watching me. Oh, brother, I salute you. Brother Hassan, if you are listening to me, my salutation to you, brother. He's the one who, if you see me here today in the United States, God already agreed upon, but uh, he played a major key role, all right, of my traveling here, all right? So, brother, my salutation, all right? I'm here, your, 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 your student, your boy, Mohammed Manju Ture, a.k.a. Tourism, all right? <laughs> CKA Tourism, brother. All right, brother, I salute you. Again, I would need a, a, a comment from you. Call to be part of the show. And uh, uh, Ibrahim, I think uh, his connection is a uh, is little bit giving him problem. All right. Uh, let me try to call him back again. And uh, before I read the people comments that they are sending through. All right. I'm going to read the people comments here. All right. I think this topic is very in, in, interesting and uh, a lot of people, you know, um, are telling us exactly the solution of this problem. Uh, Brother Dukle, I'm funny. I think your connection, you need to change your location because your connection has a little bit problems. It's not, I don't know why. Uh, it's, it's not. Uh, All right, Isia Kakroma, he just sent his comment. So um, we're going to read those comments and then we go ahead. Those that are sending the call through to take their calls and, uh, and that's it. All right, he said, I'm interested in the topic, but the issue is very, very complicated. Ah, brother, I think you need to come on and tell us how, how the issue are complicated what do you think or oh, what do you mean so we either you come on by touching the video button to be live with me and tell us exactly why you think the the issue is complicated um uh, i you know you have to tell something to us all right and uh, the people of liberia many people are watching you now but uh, a lot of people see your comment but we don't actually know what you mean because we want to know it in detail, all right? So uh, I think, all right, let me try all means to see how best I can invite you, all right? Let me see. Your comment, we're gonna read your comment to the audience. All right, Mohammed Fofana trying to come on. All right, um, little Mohammed Dupre sent his comment, and 
All right, after this call, I'm going to read your comment to the audience. And, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to connect you. I know you have a very important points here to make, but uh, I don't know what happened. I cannot connect you because maybe I believe that your internet should be given problems. I don't know. All right. He said, all right, um, he's not coming on, so I'm going to read the comment and then uh, we take another call from there. All right. Yo, Mohammed, Mohammed Dupli, he said that uh, I want to take this time to appreciate you for what you have started by, un by uniting. What? What? by uniting your uh, platform to us and Liberians to discuss these critical national issues. All right, brother, I think, uh, brother, I really want you to come on and tell us more of what you mean, brother. Your invitation stay here. Uh, let me call you again. All right. Let me call you again to see what you can tell the people of Liberia why you can tell the passport department or the government of Liberia? All right. Our day, we are free. Our day, I'm very sorry, I'm not good at uh, singing, right? However, we tried, all right? Uh, I'm going to try again. Uh, I don't know, your connection seems to be giving you problem or difficulty to be life right now. Uh, Alright, I think we're going to be life at this time. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 oh, it's off. Oh my God. Faye, Faye. Faith, faith. All right, you can call and tell us exactly what you think because I believe more people are experiencing this. And uh, somebody said that it is because we don't have system in Liberia. So um, the government don't actually know who's in a country and who's out of the country. So that is the new key, you know, issue. And uh, this issue, something have to be taken, something have to be done about this issue because it's a very serious issue. The government here, more especially the immigration department, they have to know who's here, who's not here, all right? But my, maybe English shouldn't be the denier to my home country past you know of getting my home country passport i think this is very sad all right first of all english is a uh, western language right it's not made by the liberians all right so if i cannot speak english that shouldn't be the denial to my passport all right that shouldn't be denial of getting a passport Eh? My own home country, right? It's, I think it's very, very sad. All right? Oh, this is the Liberian music that, yes, indeed, we all, you know, we all love. And uh, it says that uh, Liberia is our Liberia. Liberia days is our days. So we have to come together, say something together, try to see how best our, you know, to discuss our problems so that uh, we can find solution to those problems. You see those small, small things, right? Um, if those small, small things are real, take care, right? It can bring in, it can bring us enough peace in the country, all right? Although it is a, it's not a major issues because I think Liberia we have so many issues right now to be taken care of, all right? But uh, I think this should be one of the major ones too. All right, it's not even small. Though. It should be one of the major ones to be put All right, because if everybody are treated equally, right, in the country, right, um, it bring a lot of peace, 
a lot of love and money in Liberia. All right, everywhere around the world. All right, so we have to work on those things. All right. You can send your comment. All right. So we're gonna um read your comment to the audience, or you touch the little green uh, video board. I mean, video sound at the bottom side, so you can be live. And tell the audience what you think that, that is the solution to this problem. What you think the solution of our problem here today. So we're gonna know, all right? Maybe somebody else is uh, somebody else from elsewhere then gonna learn from you, all right? Yeah, together we can solve the problem of Liberia. Man. All right, all of our problems, we're going to be bringing them one by one. All right, we're going to be bringing them, uh, yeah. All right, keep calling. Send your call. All right. Uh, these are very interesting and important topics that... I expect everyone to take part and tell us what you think. Yeah, because together we can solve the problems. Yep. Independent day. Liberia. Liberia. We are free. No more war. We are dead. We are free. Our it's our day. It's our day. Yep. Today is our day, my people. We are free. We need to have more peace. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Hey, hey. So together we can uh, discuss this important issue so that uh, I know a lot of people here now, they don't actually, maybe they may not know how to call or they want to call, but uh, uh, people, all right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> somebody is telling me, uh, brother, please uh, use the Quran. All right, that's the very important thing, but we have time for everything, all right? You know, this is a uh, public discussion. Sometimes the day we go uh, decide to bring that topic, we're going to select that topic and bring that topic so that people can, you know, take part and people can call us who, Tell us what you think about the topics that we're bringing. All right. This time we are not going to bring a long, long topic. We're going to bring something that will be interesting, that will make it sense. That yes, indeed, that is our main source of problems. All right. Our main source of problems. These are the stuff we're going to be bringing. And you know, make sure those problems are solved. Make sure those problems are solved so that everybody can have everlasting peace in Liberia. All right. Although we have peace in the video, but we want everlasting, everlasting. That's what we want. All right. We want everlasting. Together, we should enjoy the country. All right. These are independent day. All right. Somebody say I'm watching. So if you want to call, you can tell me. I'll add you here so that uh, you can make your point live. Okay. Okay. okay let me try to, to add you. Here. I think you have something to say, something important to say, all right? If you don't know, you will judge. I swear to God, if you don't know, you're going to judge. Yep, that's why I love this music. It talks about a lot of stuff, right? If you don't know, you're going to judge. But... All right, somebody is online here. 
Uh, good afternoon, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? Are you there? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Usad Ismail. Hello, hello. I'm getting you. Usad Ismail. All right. You are live. A lot of people watching you now and uh, they're wishing to hear your view. I think you saw the topics. All right. So what do you think the solution to this problem or what do you think have you experienced it or what do you think that we can take to solve these problems? Because those are the national problems, you know. So, you know, we want to talk about those topics in order to make people understand our problems so that those situations can be resolved before our new president get into you know, position. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Alhamdulillah, Sallallahu Alhamdulillah, we thank the Almighty Allah, and we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to. Yeah. Yeah. So, can you please go back on the top of the media slow? Then I can try to give my little, my little boy, my little imam idea. So that is. <laughs> All right. Uh, what we are saying here today, we said that uh, sometime we realize that. Uh, um, Liberia, if you don't speak English, your passport denial can last of you not speaking English. All right? Oh, so, okay. yeah, more people find this difficulty. You know, we know Liberia, a lot of Liberian does not speak English. All right? So in case if they need passport, and the passport interview are conducted in English language. So what do you think is going to happen? Um, if you are, for instance, if you are in Madingo or even other tribes, what do you think is going to happen to the passport interview? So this is why we are talking about here today. Okay. That is very good, very, very good, important message also, important discussion, actually. Okay. Uh, for that, I think uh, the main problem in that in Liberia is just... Uh, little bit of hatred beyond certain tribes in Liberia and certain religion in Liberia. But I don't think that could be the problem. Because if you look at Africa, our official language may be uh, French or uh, Arabic or English. But now we have our local Balangwa. We have our local tribes. Somebody may be a Manome, Giome, a Kisime, Lomame, that I attend any English school before, or Arabic school before, or French school before. But in spite of us, in spite of the country, he is a born citizen of this country. A forefather here, have all property here. Now, when I can a person go for passport, I think the best way our ministry, the government can do, is to have somebody sitting there. They are Ismail, I go for the book. Then you, you, you speak English to me, I did not answer. Then you ask me, oh, can I know you better? What is your name? Oh, Ismail Kamara. Oh, this man may be, he may be a Madingo man. Then you call a Madingo man power. Okay, please speak to your brother in Madingo for us to, to, to see how best to help. I'm forward. Alhamdulillah, when I try to speak Madingo, definitely you, the minister or the director, should know I'm a Liberian. That should not be the problem. English might not be the problem. English. And it happens right. to Liberian it national will be the cause of Liberia. our passport denial as a Liberian. That's why you mean. Yeah. yeah, yes, yeah. For example, the Liberian National Police, the Liberian National Police, since the arrival of UN and the life from that day up to now, you don't have to be worried about speaking English anymore at any a, 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 a police station in Liberia yet. They have people around to interpret. 
because I'm a Sena Kierkees, the lady is a Madingo lady. She's not able to express herself good in English. And the defender in Madingo. And it was done well, and the case went well, and her right was given to her as Madingo lady cannot speak good English. So I think that same measure can be entered the password division. Uh, it can be used there at the foreign ministry for people to be there to pass our father, our brothers, our sisters that can't speak English to, to pass their word to, for them to be very easy. So English will not be the problem, actually. Yes. All right. You have uh, two more minutes you to have hold because two more minutes to hold five minutes. So, um, five minutes. So, um, what do you have to tell, what, uh, like, the governments of Liberia or even the people of Liberia in order to solve those problems because you make a very good point here and I think uh, Ibrahim Mande Massa made the same point that uh, they should have an interpreter from every tribe in Liberia in the passport department in order to assist people to, uh, um, to, to get their passport All right, their denials should last on the English speaking All right. Okay. So, okay, my, so as your family, the people. Okay, my little advice here to the Liberian government, uh, because this government then less then less than sixty day I can say they be in power. So now the new government coming in, my little advice is this: unity should be preach. Unity, the unity should be preach. Reconciliation should be their priority first. Because if you will love each another we together, I don't think the Loma man may have problem with the Mandingo man getting the passport. Or the Mandingo may have a problem with the Gisi man getting the Liberian book. That unity in unity we can do that. In unity we can do that. But if if people that have been elected or appointed to our higher post and if they become our problem then the problem will continue. So I, rec I will recommend to the Liberian government the more preach unity, reconciliation from there. Actually, everything will be easy in Liberia. And treat everybody, 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 and treat everybody, equal. everybody, everybody equally. Everybody equally. Yeah, equal, equal. Everybody. That the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty God did it. The Almighty God did not choose and pick and choose. The Almighty God you pray, you pray to him or not, you will get what you're supposed to get at him. And in everybody in Liberia, exactly. in the it's world, for everyone. It's it's be for everyone. everyone. So don't, don't, don't look at the name, don't look at the religion, but look at the behavior and the nationality and help your brother. So the new government, the old one that going, our song, our music need to be unity and reconciliation. They are reconciled. They will unite, they love, they will be Liberia in peace. Peace is the only key to development. Liberia people say they want development. But if you can get unity, you can reconcile with your friend, you can get peace. Definitely, I will tell you, Liberia will stay 1,000 years on ice. You can even get good quota. All quota. right. Thank you very much, All Brother right. Ismail Thank Kamara. Much, Brother Brother Ismail Ismail Kamara, Ismail. Kamara yeah. from Monobia. He was uh, telling us exactly what is the problem and its solutions. All right. So um, the others trying to come online here, we're going to drop your line and try to invite the others to give us their views as well. All right. People are sending um, their comment here. And uh, we're going to read those comments and then we take some calls. All right. Henry Vafi, uh, this guy really have something important to say to the Liberian people. All right. To pass over to the Liberian people. But uh, I don't know why his uh, communication lines is uh, giving him problem. All right. He said the national law is given to the aliens and the nationality law of 1973 based on the constitution under the current Liberian constitution, only the person of black, black Africa um, origin may obtain the, citizen, the citizenship, all right? Although Liberian law allows member of rice to hold the permanent resident status, whether you are 
whether you can speak English or not. All right, this is why Henry Vafi Tami Dukle just said, all right, that was his comment. And uh, I'm seeing my sister from Philadelphia, Princess Mama Sako. All right, she's watching me right now live. All right, so Ayuba G wants to say is here. All right, Bamoisa Titi Kamara, that is my own brother. He's here too. All right, so we're going to send invitation to those people so that they, uh, they can be part of this show. All right. And uh, Ishiaka Kuruma, all right. Ah, I really want to, I really want to get a view of this brother here, but uh, I don't know why. Uh, the call is not accepting him. He and Buffy Dukle, I don't know. I'm finding a little bit difficult to add them. Uh, all right. Ishiaka Kuruma sent his comment here and. Uh, uh, before the call comes true, we're going to read the comments to the audience. And uh, if uh, you cannot actually call to the show uh, because of your connection or maybe your cell phone, we don't know. So you can send your comment and uh, we're going to read your comment to the audience to see because together we can solve our problems. All right. Together we can preach peace. Together, the unity, we can preach unity, all right? So I think you can send your comment here so that uh, we gonna read them one by one to the audience to get, um, so that uh, everybody gonna hear what you have in mind to say, all right, to the people of Liberia. All right, we're gonna play our Liberian music again. Today is our independent day. To be a Liberian. All right, if you want to call, you can start the little uh, video boarding at the bottom so that uh, you can be live and tell the audience what exactly you think we can do in order to solve those kinds of problems in the country. All right, more especially in the nation. All right, one nation, one divisible with liberty and justice for all, that means for every one of us, all right? So, so together, that justice, we want to enjoy it together, all right? One nation indivisible that cannot be divided at all, no matter how, all right? With liberty, all right, you have to be given that liberty, all right? And justice, that justice, everybody needs to be treated equal, and then for all, every one of us has to enjoy that, all right? So keep coming. Keep coming, send your comments, call, tell us what you think, tell us your solution to this problem. All right. Isiaka Koma send his comment. All right. So um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stop the music and read his comment well, 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 well to the people of La Bibia. All right, brother, if you are listening to me, I'm very sorry. I'm finding a little bit difficult to add you. I've tried my best, and uh, I think you have to touch the little uh, of video, I mean, video sound at the bottom, and then so you can be part of uh, this program live, so you can tell people what ready you have in mind, all right? So I uh, think like that is going to be very, very important. He said, at this point, Liberia is the only country in West Africa with our identification card. Oh my God, so sad. And a quote from former president in Congo, in, in Congo uh, Patrick Lumumba. And he said, with our dignity, he said, with our dignity, there is no justice. Oh my God. This brother have a very interesting point to make on this show today. How can you be connected and tell people uh, what exactly you have in mind? Uh, I don't know the type of phone you have. I'm trying to add you, but I'm still fine. I think you have to send me an invitation on Facebook so we can be friends. I think like that you're going to be um, added to show. 
all right you can send me an invitation right now i'm going to accept them all right so you can be live and tell people uh what is the solution to this problem all right and uh, i'm going to read the 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 the, the, the remaining part of the the, the the comments and then he said with our liberty there is no freedom all right with our independence there is no free men ah. all right keep coming your comments that was the comments from ishiaka chroma uh, a real a real a really making sense here a really making sense here oh i think he really need to be alive tell people in detail what uh, all right, let me check my Facebook page is to see if he sent me a comment, I mean, uh, an invitation here so that uh, I can, uh, because sometimes if you are not friendly with me, you cannot actually be, um, it's very hard sometimes to, to, um, to be with me, right? I mean, to be added life, you know? So I'm going to open my Facebook line here. All right. Yeah, this is very, very interesting. You know, like these people can know what to do, right? All right. So I think together we can solve our problems. Yeah. Together we can solve our problem. Uh, this, there is a two person on this show. I really, really want to connect them, but I'm finding difficult, actually. Um, I'm finding difficult here. Uh, Henry uh, Vafi Dukle and uh, Henry Vafi Dukle and and Ishiaka Koma. I really, really want to talk with you guys. Actually, actually. yeah, very, really, very really want to talk with you guys. I swear to God. All right, let me check the 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 request here on my page so to see if those people send me. All right, it's like I send it already. It's like I send it already. Let me try to um. All right. All right. I confirm Ishaka. All right, so that he can be alive with me, so he can tell us. And uh, Bayanga Bamba Sise, I confirm him. All right. So I really want to hear from this brother, actually. Uh, I think the point is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Uh, all right. The point here is very, very interesting. So if you are listening to me, brother, I, I, I confirm your invitation. And uh, you can touch the little button. Let me try to see something here. Um, uh, all right, Harry said, I have the same problem. Uh, yeah, this is so sad, all right? All right, those that have the opportunity to call on the show, right, either um, you send your comment through or you call directly, you know, by touching the little video button so that uh, you can be live. This brother also trying to be live here today, but I don't know what is the problem here. All right, I don't know, actually. Yeah, all right. Let me try to get Vafi to play here. Oh. Yeah, your call is not going through, though. Yeah. This is very sad. Uh, 
Oh. Anyway. All right. Keep coming. Send your comment through. All right. Anyway, we are going to read your comment to the audience. So if you just joining us, what do you think that is uh, the solution to this uh, problem? All right. So we're going to play a music to entertain you again. All right. This topic is very, very interesting. All right. All right, if you just joining us, if you want to be on live with me here today, tell the people of Liberia the beautiful solution to our problem, to our topics. All right, you can toss the video button. All right, toss the video button, and then you be live. Tell the Liberian people what do you think regarding our topics. Please, when you call, don't go contrary. Just speak directly from what the topic is saying. All right. Oh, my lovely brother is online here. B Kumar from Kakata. All right, brother, if you are listening to me, you can come live. Look at the topic. Come live. Tell people what you think. What is the solution? What you think we can do together in order to get the maximum peace, the maximum unity, and freedom in the country. All right. Oh, uh, if you don't know how to come on live with me by tossing the video button at the bottom, you can send your comment and I'm going to read your comment to the audience so that they can know, they can know and get your impact regarding this wonderful topic. All right. It's our day. Yep. If you don't know, you will chakla chokolo. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fe, 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 fe. Liberia, Monrovia. 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 Pimpini, pimpini. Wangala, Wongolo. Yeah, that's what we mean. that cannot actually come online it should be your connection or your phone but i try my possible best here i even send an, invi an invitation to henry vapi tammy duplo but uh, i don't know why he's not stay on my here with me all right i think ibrahim masarin is uh, here again he has something to tell the people of liberia i think so he's here again all right. The topic is very interesting. I think together we can do something about this. Before the young force, <laughs> the young power comes into, I mean, the young uh, 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 government comes into power, we have to discuss something together. We have to let them know our problems so that when it comes, they should know exactly what to do. All right. They should know what to do. What to do, what to do, they should know what to do, all right? That's what we want. I have a... Uh, um, do you think this music is a very interesting music? I don't think so. I want the music that really makes sense to me. All right? There's a remix now. I get a one of good song from the remix. Um, 
I'm going to play this music here. I think this was a very interesting music. This no. one, a free one. Who like it? No, it's not this man, brother. Don't come here. Don't come embarrass people here. Liberia! <laughs> it's our day. It's our day. I think this should be the same music, right? Liberia! Oh, the same thing. It's our day! Yeah! Okay, let me see this song. This is uh, um official song for Madame Ellie Johnson Sarin. I didn't hear this song before, right? This is so interesting. All right, we have a lot of comments here, so um, we're gonna read those comments to the audience, and uh, we're gonna even maybe. All right. Oh, I think this person can be part of this show, right? Yeah, this person can be part of this show. Rose Limpe, all right. She said that uh, not only Madingo but all other tribes will be discriminated. Not everyone speak in understand English. All right. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call her and uh, she can come live and tell us why exactly she needs. All right. Rose, I'm gonna try to call you if you are listening to me. Um, your call is coming. All right. Come on, live, tell us what you think. All right. So from there, we're going to go to Samuka Ture, my own brother. All right. Oh, those did not pick up. Uh, we're going to give them a chance again to see how best she can be added to tell us exactly what she needs in detail. All right. All right, so we're gonna go down to Samuka Ray. All right, he said, Thank you very much. Nice, nice, my brother. So he has something to say. So um, I'm to ask him. All right. All right, your call is coming to Samuka Ture if you are listening to me, brother. All right. We are trying to invite you because we know together we can do. All right, my phone cannot go live. Oh, I see why. A lot of people we are sending a call like uh, Henry Barty, Duplay. I think his phone cannot go live. I think so. Because um, Rose uh, Limpe just said that uh, her phone cannot go live. All right? You see? And... Uh, but today your call is coming, you need to um, accept the call, the invitation, and then it will tell you go live, then you touch the blue button, go live, and then you're going to be live with me. Alright? So now, we'll send another message again. She said that uh, they need to interpret. They need the interpreter for all tribes. I think Ibrahim Masaran said this earlier today. He said they need the interpreter for all tribes, but the problem here, LRB don't even have a system. I think one of our brothers just said that today again from England, and uh, he said LRB don't even have a system in place to know the, the, the natural laws of city. Ah, she has a very important message for the community people. I'm very sorry for who cannot go live to, 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 to come on here and tell you guys what exactly they know she has in mind to I'm sorry, she has in mind to tell you. All right. Together, I mean I know together we can be united, together we can preach the peace within the country, even out of the country. All right, when we travel, we meet one another somewhere else, we have to entertain the same unity and peace out there. All right, 
So everything begins from what? From where? Whom? Everything begins from whom? All right. Sita Ture, my sister, all right, is live here with me, is watching me live. And my own mother, Makoya Ture, is watching me live. And uh, Rose said that uh, I will try to, to, to set up my, uh, my things. All right, no problem. Everybody um, is here, you know, reading your comments and they are listening to your comments. If you have anything to say, if you cannot come on live and uh, you can directly, you know, send um, uh, uh, your comments so we can read it to the audience. All right. We want to try to add Ibrahim as I think he has something to say to people again. That's from Mama Ellen Johnson Selim, the mother who made 12 years, 12 years of peace in Liberia. That's the most enjoyable thing I ever enjoyed in yeah. Oh, my brother is with me. Uh, your name and where are you calling from, Colo? Well, um, Ibrahim and Dima Samas are calling from Nigeria. All right, brother, you are live. What do you have to say, like a second message? I think you were here earlier, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. what is the second important message here today, brother? Yeah, uh, this is the same message, you know, and also to emphasize what one of our brothers said today. You know, we don't have system in place. The brother is not like other countries where we don't have, we, 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 other countries have national article in liberia we don't have national article a country that don't, doesn't have a national article how can you identify the real citizen of that country and also there's one problem we have in liberia that is the bro is the only country around around images in west africa that i know can reject their own citizen simply because they cannot speak wet man language. Can you be a little bit horrible because I think my audience are not hearing you clear. Liberia is the only country around West Africa here that rejects their own citizen simply because he or she doesn't speak wet man language, English. Wow, and that's so sad, brother. It's very funny. You see, if you... Yeah, if you go, if you go to, or, you know, the first thing here is we reject ourselves, we reject our dialect, and this is very important. You cannot look at, you cannot look at somebody and say, okay, because this person doesn't speak English, it's not, or it's not the son of that country. And also, there's another problem also. Speaking English cannot make you a Liberian. There are a lot of people, there are a lot of foreigners who are not naturalized and they are not Liberian. They speak English. They learn English, they know how to speak English. So if you give passport to that person and say, yes, this person can speak English, I think this is not right. This is not right. This is not right. You see? So we don't have people that can that expect, really, that can identify. Because if you, when you look at the trap business also, in Liberia, like uh, in Liberia, we have Gio. We have Gio. In Cote d'Ivoire, we have the Gio. And we have Pere in, Guinea, in we Liberia, have Madingo. we have Pere yeah. in Guinea. We have, we have, we have Madingo, we have Madingo in Liberia, we have Madingo, we have Madingo in Guinea. We have Mano in Liberia, we have Mano in Guinea. in Liberia, we have Madingo in Guinea, Africa, everywhere, you everywhere West Africa. In, in Africa also. And also we have, even the crew, uh, the, uh, the Grebo. We have Grebo in Liberia, we also have Grebo in Cote d'Ivoire. In Cote d'Ivoire, they call the Grebo the crewmen. You go to a certain part of Cordova or like places like San Pedro, you'll find a crewman there, which is very close to Maryland. You see? So, we don't have people that can really identify the real Liberians. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because if you say, okay, this person can speak a Gyo too, this person can speak Gyo, and I can speak Gyo, and forget it or not that they are Gyo in Cordova too, they are Gyo in Cordova, so Gyo is Gyo. So who is the real Liberian Gio? That's the question. Yeah, brother said that, uh, the only way we can, we don't know it because Liberia doesn't have system. We don't have national yeah. 
We don't have yeah. the immigration department don't know who's coming in a country and who's going out of the yeah. country. They don't know. So I don't know. It's very, very sad. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. My passport you know, immigration to last on my English speaking women language. Where I am not a where it, white people, I am not a white man to speak. Yeah. Possibly a white man language. Oh, it's so sad, man. Very sad, very sad. Very, very sad. Even in those immigration, there are some corrupt immigration, not all. And, and the, 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 the points that you make earlier today, a lot of people make the same point. Even Rose make the same point. And one of our, our brother called, I mean, called from uh, 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 Virgin. I mean, Virgin, he makes the same point. He said that uh, um, in order, I mean, and, uh, and again, Ismail, Ismail uh, uh, Kamara, our Imam Ismail Kamara made the same point in order to solve that problem so easily, they say all trusts have to get um, an interpreter to the passport department time for their Yes. Yes. And you were the first person to say that today, and a lot of people, you know, stated the same thing. All right, Ruth said it. Ibrahim, I mean, um, Ismail Kamara said it, and uh, one other brother from a Virgin said it. He said, actually, um, the passport department need to have an interpreter from every tribe where if you come, you are a Liberian and you cannot speak English so that they can interpret your language to the to those that are issuing the passport. But you're, you're not in, uh, speaking English, you need to be the denier to your, I mean, to get the, uh, to get your, your own country, I mean, to get your own country or passport. All right, the book is for the Liberians. So Liberians, whether you speak English or not, you should get your passport. Yes. Look, look, uh, Mohammed, Mohammed, if you go to places like Mali, Mali, they have a lot of stuff. They have many stuff in Mali. Many people speak Bamara. Bamara. Again, you are sounding very low. I think the audience are not hearing. If you go, if you, if you, if you go to places like uh, places like Mali, Mali, Mali have a lot of stuff, but many people speak Bamara. You understand? Many people speak Bamara. But if you go to a passport place, if you don't speak Bamara, maybe if you are a fuller name, they will call somebody from a fuller. They are expert. There are people from a fuller ethnic group. They will come and ask you. Exactly. You, you know, I've been in Mali yeah. before. I've been in Mali oh. before. And uh, I think Fine. Mali even speak Bamara more than French, more than any other language in Mali. Fine. Fine. You see it? It's like that. If you go to if you go to if you go to Senegal, the same Senegal, they speak Wolof. Everybody speak Wolof. Even those they have other lang the other the tribe there. They have a Malinka. They have other tribe. They have the Jola. But many people speak Wolof. If you cannot spell, you ask you your tribe. You see, which dialect you speak? You speak your dialect. Look, we should base we should base on uh, white man language to identify our nationals. Our, it's wrong. It's wrong, bro. It's All not right. good. You, it's you, only in Liberia you can see things like that. I think you have a very important point. I'm going to um, add you back again later, but uh, right now you have one more minute to go. So what is yeah. your final message to people in Liberia and to the government to see how best this situation can be you know, resolved? All right. He goes away. Uh, that is not by because he's been making a lot of point here today. All right, yeah, yeah, is back again. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, Bamba say is here. He just added him. All right, I think I'm gonna call him if he have anything to tell the people of Liberia regarding these important topics today. Um, he gonna tell them. He's connecting right now. All right. Karamo Donzo is here. That's my here. That's my All right. All right. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, brother. Good, good afternoon. Brother. I think he has a connection problem here, but uh, I don't know. Um, are you there? Hello, are you there? Uh, 
He's live, but uh, he's he has, live, but uh, he has. We don't know. All right, I'm going to reconnect him back again. You know, because. Uh, All right, we're gonna play the music. Mama La Bibi, Ma Ellie Johnson Selly. One who may sing 12 year peace for all Liberians. You should be appreciated for that. Kamo M. Donzo is watching Mohamed Mandituri live from New Jersey, United States of America. All right, brother. Salute you. All right, I've just seen a comment here from Rose Nante. And uh, she said that uh, I, think, I think they need to start. They need to start from birth certificate. They need to start from birth certificate first because it is very corrupt. Any information you give them about your birth, that that what they are, that what they will put on your certificate, that what they will put on your certificate, because health ministry don't have birth certificate record. Oh my God. Health ministry don't have birth certificate record on any natural life citizen that is that is so sad. That is so sad. That is so sad. I think this is very very true, and uh, I think this relating to those that say that like, that they have uh, no system, you know, to know who's in the country, who's out of the country, who was born, who died. We don't know because we don't have system. So I think the incoming government, if you are hearing me right now, this is the voice of voiceless. All right, people choice Mohammed Mandutue. All right, from the United States of America to be the state in New Jersey. All right, if you are hearing me right now, this is what your people say to you. All right, try to do something about this. All right, we need to get system. We need to get national ID card. All right, so. And uh, the passport department too. Uh, we need to have. Uh, we need to have like a, 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 a representative from all citizens in the passport department in order to interpret, all right? Um, people to do the issue in the passport, the Nigerian passport to the citizens, all right? So I think those are the major major points that uh, people been making here today, all right? And uh, Rose, Rose, you are really playing a major key part of this show today. All right, I really appreciate that, and uh, thank you for that. Thank you for promoting the show. Uh, Rose, my, I, 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 I will ask you, what, what, uh, how do you like this show? Do you think we can continue this show, or do you think this show is important to the people of Nigeria? Do you think this show is going to at least a little bit change the lifestyle in Nigeria? Because together, if we discuss our problems and our leaders are hearing us together, I think something will be, you know, something will be done in, 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 in the future. All right? Because sometimes leaders may not know everything. We have to come on and tell them, you know, what is our problem. All right? So now, we say, I think they need to start from the birth certificate first because because it very corrupt, all right? Any information you give them about your birth, that is, I mean, that's why they will put on your certificate. Because health ministry don't have birth record on any naturalized citizen that is suicide, all right? So this is why we said, so um, all my people, ah, very, very sad. All right, another Liberian music here that talking about peace. All right, I think um, we're gonna listen to it. I don't even know this music. 
Is this the real music? I don't think so. No. All right. Liberia! And uh, Yaya is back again. He said thanks for communicating. I mean, for commenting and uh, and what and what? Be silent. All right. Let me try to call him again. I think he's set up now. I think he's set up now. All right. If you have more comments, if you have a lot of stuff to tell the people of Liberia, keep coming. All right, send your comments. Come on, live. Tell the people what do you think. What do you think? What is the solution for problems? All right, one of our sister was on live today and make a interesting point. All right, he's here. Um, uh, good afternoon, no, brother. No, no. And where are you calling from? I'm connecting with you. Okay, my name is Yaya Vamba Sise. Okay, thank you. And I'll call you from Monovio. And uh, let me first right. of all appreciate you for you organizing such a fascinating discussion. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much. All right, so what do you have uh, to tell the people of Liberia? The discussion. Now, I think the issue that has to do with the, the English language and uh, to be a fundamental requirement of obtaining a document by Labyrinth Citizen, I think it is not a very good thing. Now, for example, the only lady that I see somewhere in Bakedu in Lofa County, most of the elderly people in those yeah, in if you work with NGOs in some other area, you know, if the in the, in the rural area, not even speak English. So how do you expect those people? For example, you will take a cake from one university area to go and serve as a recruiter for voter registration or whatsoever brother. Then that person will expect my grandmother will come from where back do or you want me back to there to be able to speak the English language. No, English language should not serve as a principle for requirement of document, especially for people of Liberia. Let's assume now the person cannot speak English. Does that mean the person is not a librarian? No. The English language should not be the one to determine a librarian. It's just a part of the official language that we use. But we, we must use, we must use other factors. For example, and I went to, I went to a foreign affair sometimes ago and get my passport. Then a guy asked me if I can speak any other language yeah, can you speak any language, any dialect from Liberia? Yeah, I speak Madingo. They say, oh, I want to Madingo speak. I said, I want to speak. No, they say, a eh, eh, better you be able to speak. I said, no. I said, that's the only la native Liberian dialect I can speak. That one my father taught me how to speak. So you don't have to tell me what to be able to speak or you have to speak this one. I think it's a fundamental error and we all need to speak in this manner like what you're doing to see how best that we can go against some of those things. A happy uh, person doing a voter registration, well, a happy doing a voter registration, sometimes we have to go and get in cars to go to a polling uh, voter registration center to speak for our people. Tell the person, hey, no. That's it, you can't speak, you can't explain other men like you. You know, tell the person, say, and you ask the person, BB English, that if while you myself as a university student, a student who speak your kind of grammar, you explain other people to speak your kind of language, it's not, it's not comfort, right? So it is necessary that nah. we must put the VA issue in front. You cannot force the people to speak in this language in some of those areas. You don't do it. Never. Other countries, other yeah. countries have special dialect like Ghana. Ghana get three. Right? In Guinea, you see most of the people speak Madingo. You can't deny people because they can't speak French. You don't do it nowhere beside this country because hatred, that's the point. Because our uh, people are a little bit tribal, tribalizing stuff, and uh, they are not actually treating everybody equally. And, uh, uh, you know, um, the justice that we are preaching in Liberia, you know, it. it's not given to 
God does. So we have to talk on some of those things because we know before the new government comes into power so that I know very well that they are hearing us right now. You because right. this video, that is why yes. I recommend you guys to share this video, share you, it as possible right. as you can. In order, yeah, in order for them, for, for them to hear what we have in mind, for them to know that yes, indeed, what we've been discussing, and, you know, and they, I believe that they are listening to us right now. So they have to um, do something. Vera, let, 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 we all let, need this. let me be fair to you. You see, Recent days, I was somewhere in Lufa County. Now, we were about, we were about six or seven persons in the car. As soon as the car parked the immigration checkpoint, I was almost in the middle. So they asked everybody, your name? The guy called a name. My name is Peter Fremo. All the guy called another name, right? As soon as the guy reached to me, as soon as I told him that my name, he asked, he said, the first thing the immigration officer said, please get and go to the office. And I said, no. I said, no problem. And now, uh, I, what, as a lawyer, what? body citizen, I walk. Oh I, I, think, I think that would be my next up. I think that would be my next up. Yeah. You know, wow. you, you do that too. I said, no. That's a I said, no problem. I went to the office. And treated. guess what happened? I went to the office. He asked me, he said, they are not treating everybody fair. The first thing, every immigration man, most of immigration officers, as soon as you call your name, once your name is Mamadi, he said, your name is Mohammed Sise or Kroma or Kwanen. Once you have a son of Madiwa near attached to you, the first thing that will come to that man man is that this man is not a librarian. I need to interrogate him. That's the point. And I told him, I said, gentlemen, when wow. they up and ask him, where are you from? I told him, I said, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Bon Kante. He said, oh, Madiwa is from Bon Kante? I said, yeah. He said, who is that dialect in Sweden? I said, Madiwa. Then he told him, ask me, who is this way from? I said, from Jokola, this way. Your father knee, your moral knee, I told him. He said, no. I said, my moral is not from Bonn. My moral from Nima County. Then he said, ask me, who your moral is? All the other kind of things, right? So almost everybody in the car, no other person was interrogated the way I was, in, I was asked. But since I was somebody that could able to defend myself, I could able to tell you, even why he did not even know, I could able to teach him the... So the, he, the, 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 the trying to say here yeah, that God denied that he never got it for So you could, you could able to get anywhere. So now you're trying to tell us that the guard deny your nationality because of your Madingo trap. Yeah, that, that way you're trying you to, but you couldn't ever do it because I could ever do, I could, I could ever teach him the, the simple, simple labyrinth and uh, geography that, that how the trap are situated, how somebody can come for another trap. He even asking those questions, he doesn't even speak good English. They want to question somebody's citizenship. You know, these are things that we sometimes we look at and laugh at them. So I told him, so he said, he said, oh, may you buy you lucky. I said, I'm not lucky. It is my right to teach you what you don't know. Then he said, a blue way like this. I said, no problem. But what I can tell you. Yeah, somebody said that those people, somebody said that those immigrations are doing this. It's not because, it's not intentionally, but they are doing this because of corruption matter. So... What do you think about that? Because they want something from you, Come they want to get please. small thing, you know. There's somebody said that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. those hey, people. Let, let me tell you. Yeah, I agree with you. Right? But guess what happened? This because of corruption matter. Let's assume, let's assume, even you want money from me, I am not going to facilitate certain ugly action in our country. As a young man, I'm, 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 I'm an agent of change. As we serve as the agent of change, as we serve as the peace ambassador, I should not be the one to encourage corruption. Even when you're maybe to sleep there, I will sleep there, but I will not get money. I'm not going to encourage it. Why should I get money? In case I get money, I'm not to talk for myself. Then I get money. Why if my brother is not able to talk for himself? What will be a case of an old man that will come from, you know, back in? What will be a case of an old man who will come from job color? You know, that want to carry a market, buy a market, uh, want to bring a market monopoly that cannot be able to speak for myself. They will bribe you. Well, so I'm not the one you're going to exactly. use to bribe because I'm not going to bribe you and I will be there. I'm going to defend myself. So for that reason, I'm not in that kind of, you know, those kind of petty issues about how they want their money for you, all kind of things. But I want to speak to your conscience 
I want to tell you the fact, I want to present the fact to you so that even if I'm not there, if any of my brother come there, they, that person will be able to go through the process as I did. That's the point. But you cannot use, you cannot use me to get money out of we're looking at, you know, on oh, your own right. Tribalistic immigration job you want to do. You can do it to me. All right, so you, your, your minutes is already out. So what do you have to tell the people of Liberia regarding this passport issue? If they are not an English speaker and uh, they are the they, they, they denial should be last on to their language, I mean, their language barrier. So what do you have to say to the people of Liberia? Now, this is the recommendation. Those who claim to be immigration officers should be able to speak more than one or two different dialects in Liberia. If you immigration officer is able to speak or the interviewer, if the interviewer is finding difficult to respond to you, must be all the quarters immigration officer that can speak more than two or three different dialects to be able to interpret for you. But the person should not be denied because the person cannot speak English. Let's assume they were the old man going for hash, our old people going for hash. Right? Most of them will come from way at the end there. We have to go to the, the to use our, the, the, um, the elderly people session to tell the person, it is better, it is better you use the, you know, the, the director office to make sure that all people will be properly taken care of. We have to go there. Like my auntie came from Lofa that time, you know, you interview whatsoever, you want to pull on the line with other people. We told them there's no comfort. Someone who is above 70 years, 72 years old, someone who is 80 years old, then you want to follow the same procedure of other people. Liberia is a culture of culture. It should respect the other people. So you should not use the English language of deny people. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, brother. People, I think uh, the, the points that you are making, people are very, very interested and in people are giving you, um, people are telling you that that's the fact, you know, something has to be done about these issues. All right. People are really, really making good uh, 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 comments here for you. And uh, I really thank you to be part of this show today. And uh, thank you. If you wish to call back again and give us more detail of uh, what you think or what you have in mind, you can call back. But for now, your time is uh, out. So we're going to invite the others that wish to thank come you very and much. tell us. All right. Once again, my name is Mohamed Maju Toure. All right. And uh, this show is brought to you. Um, directly from United States of America by Mohammed Maju Toure, um, CKA Tourism. All right, so um, brother, what you have in mind to say um, in addition to what our brother Yaya Vamba Sise just stated, all right? And uh, we're going to read the comments of people. Ibrahim Mas Mande Masa Masarin said that uh, all right, Rose Nempe made a good point. All right, that's for Rose. And the Yaya Bamba Sise, who was just online, he sent uh, a comment again, and uh, he said, you are doing a great job, and I think English language should not be, shouldn't be a foundation, fundamental requirement to, to, for documents. All right, oh, that's very nice too. And uh, one of our brother also sending um, a comment here. His name is uh, Abdurrahim Sumaoro. All right, Abdurrahim Sumaoro said that a uh, nice pro. All right, nice pro and keep it up. All right, brother, your advice is um, will be you know we're gonna try our best. We're gonna bring more topics. You know we're gonna bring more topics. And uh, we're going to, we are doing this to call the intention of the government so that, yes, indeed, everybody should be treated equally and, uh, and uh, so that we can move forward because uh, this tribalizing that we've been doing for a long period of time, we all know that this cannot help Liberia. All right. The only way, Mohammed Sila is watching us live here and uh, this travel cannot help Liberia, all right? The only thing here, 
that can bring our peace, our peace by our love, the unity, and unless uh, those that really send in the importance channel about our togetherness forever. Because we for me, right, as I do, we want everlasting peace. We want everlasting unity among the Liberian communities. All right. So this is why we are bringing those topics. All right. Those big, big problems. All right. That if that if it and if those problems are solved, and then Liberians problem, Liberians will be united forever. Liberians will be together forever. All right. The peace will be more and more, even more than the 12 years peace that we went through. All right. So we have to talk. All right. Without talking. People cannot know what you have in mind. All right, you have to express yourself. You have to, to tell people what you think. All right, if you want to call again, you can talk the um the video button so that you can be on live. Remember, if you come on live, you can talk more than five minutes. If you talk more, you can. We cannot allow you to talk more than five minutes. You can call more. I mean, many times as you want, but we cannot talk more than five minutes because the other people can be waiting online, waiting because. Once you drop the line, they can, you know, so that we can add them. But if you online over and over, just be brief, straight to your point, make your point, make the uh, people of Liberia to understand what you have in mind to tell them. They're going to be very, very interested. All right, my brother Amara Kaba is online here. All right, Adam Sangari also here. And my mom, my baby, they is here. That's my brother from Germany. All right. They're all watching us live. And uh, Ibrahim Mande Masa Masai said that uh, this only happens to one tribe. Ibrahim Mande Masa, you make an incomplete statement. This only happens to one tribe. Which tribe? We have 16 tribes. All right, you have to be direct, straight to the point. And then, even though you did not send the comment in detail, but let it make complete sense. So that people can know what you have in mind to say. All right. I didn't actually say that you are not making sense. It's, it's, it's making sense, and people know why exactly which of the tribes you are talking about. Uh, maybe everybody may not understand like the way I understand it. All right. So you have to tell us in detail what you mean. All right. This is this happening. This happening to one tribe. You know, this only happening to one tribe. So which tribe? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to tell us? All right. We need to know. All right. So you have to tell us in detail. All right. All right, this beautiful music is going to be on to entertain you, and I'm going to take like uh, five, uh, two or three minutes break, and then I will be back uh, in the studio here, and I'll take more calls and more comments, give more comments to the audience so that yes, indeed, they can know what exactly is going on in the video, all right, and they can, the government should know the problem so that they can find solution to these problems, all right. Ibrahim Mande Masa sent uh, the comments and uh, he said this only happening to one trap, Madingo. All right, now you are clear. Why is happening to Madingo? Because people are not treated equally. All right, in Abingo, this is this this is uh, tribalism. This this is uh, 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 differentiating people, all right. They put all differences aside and also, also to be treated equally, all right. We are, we are all human beings, we are all Liberians. Those that are not Liberians, the, the government should have a system to know who are and who is not, all right. So, this is why we are talking about it. All right, I'm going to have a, a few minutes break and then I'll be back, all right. Nadiria, Penebe, Nadiria, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
know, don't you shake that stress off. Forget about the past. It's dead and gone. Now sing with me. Let's go. Say whoa. Right, the break is over. The break is over. The break is over. Uh, send your comment or toss the, 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 the send your comment or toss the video button so that you can be live. Tell people what you think. All right, what you think we can solve this problem together. All right, that's what we are talking about. Yes. All right, we have uh, 50 more minutes to go to end this show. Uh, I give thanks and appreciation to every one of you of being here today to discuss this matter with me and uh, with Liberia at large. I really appreciate your time because being part of this show, it, it shows your love for your nation, all right, because no one going to discuss the problem, the Liberian problem, to start the Liberian by themselves. All right? So together we have to discuss our problem, and together we have to solve our problem. All right. So um, I already gave you thanks and appreciation of being here. Our next topic, our next topic will be. Um, I'm working on a, on the next topic, and uh, the next topic will be coming very soon. But I think it's going to be Sunday, yeah, because um, I have to go to work today, and if I go to work, I'm, I'm not coming until Sunday, all right, Sunday morning, and uh, I think the next topic is going to be the same time on Sunday, all right, I believe so, and uh, this next topic, I have, I will introduce the next topic to you before the time, so you can have more comment and prepare yourself well, because when you see the topic, you should have enough comment to say and enough impact. What the topic will be about? Um, it's it just a simple question, all right? Um, we are asking, are Liberian helpful to one another out of Liberia? All right? That is the next topic. Together, we're going to discuss that also. All right. So, this is the, the, the music of hope. The songs of hope, Liberian hope, you know, Liberian music, uh, you know, uh, um, the songs of hope, are like a very interesting music, all right? So uh, that is our next topic. If you are here today, if you are listening to me, um, the next topic will be um, a Liberian hip hop to win uh, outside of Liberia, all right? So because we know. Um, we have to give one another, uh, you know, a room, a room of love, all right? Once we are given, you should be given, you know, you should be, you should be given the same love, all right? Whether uh, people, those people, if they are out there, they can show one another regard, they can show one another love, no matter who you are, no matter who you become, uh, in Liberia, which are the county, or which are the city, it doesn't matter whether they are actually, you know, playing their part, you know, whether they are actually playing their part, you know, um, to show you the love, or the, like, the love to, to, prove it, to prove to you that yes, in this, you all from Liberia, all right? So that's going to be the um, next topic on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to work on that topic, and from there we have another topic coming up, but that topic will be introduced on Sunday, all right? So if you are here today, um, prepare your comments, and, uh, and prepare your comments, prepare your speech on that day, so that uh, we can discuss that matter together, all right? So on Sunday, the next topic that will, that will be coming, we're going to, you know, say that together as well. So right now we have uh, 12 more minutes to go, all right? Again, our thanks and appreciation to all of you that participated, all of you that called on the show and gave us the importance, you know, uh, uh, comments, gave us the importance uh, of points that we need to focus on in order to post up to those kinds of uh, uh, stuff in control. 
So we really appreciate you guys. And uh, this music is making sense, but it's going, it's going slow. Hard desire. What is that? Hard desire. No, I'm not playing that. I want Liberian music, man. Any songs should be Liberian music here. All right. Um. All right. I think Monge can dance. That thing, that's a political song, right? Monge can dance. Yo. No, we don't want Monge can dance. Let play. We're gonna play another hot song, but not Monge can dance. All right. Mm. We have few more minutes to go away. All right. I think together next time we're gonna think together. We're gonna play together. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's Mama Ellie Johnson Selis means the happy birthday to her for it or Timmy 12 year piece for all that beans. Alright? That was the very the most enjoyable thing going on with you. The most enjoyable thing. Alright. To you, Ma Ellie. Our mother, great nation, only mother. I refer to you as our mother. All right. To so you. We have a few more minutes to go. All right. Once again, to give you thanks and appreciation of being here today. And uh, together, we're going to discuss an important issue on Sunday. All right. I think it's going to be the same time like this. All right. About a Liberian helpful to one another out of Liberia. All right. That's going to be the topic on Sunday. Okay, from there we're gonna bring another topic, but I'm not saying it right now. We're gonna say that on Sunday as well. Maybe that may come some Monday or I don't know, but we're gonna anyway, we're gonna work on that topic together. We thank God for you, man. Yes. All right. We have no more minutes to go away. All right, we're going to see another song again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mama Ellie. Oh, no, that's music. That's music. It's nice. Liberia! Wow, let us play this music today. It's our day. It's not only you, it's our day. Ah, uh, yeah, it's our day, man. All right, we're going to play this music. Uh, until our time finish. All right. 
Once again, Mohamed Manjutre. Mohamed Manjutre of Newark, New Jersey, in the United States of America. All right. Trying to call the intention of people, make, making them to understand something that they don't know. And uh, we are the voice of the voiceless. All right. That's why, that's why we call ourselves and people even call us people choice. We are the choice of people. All right. If you have very important topics, you can inbox me, all right? So we can uh, work on the topics and bring the topics to, to, to the intention of, I mean, so to call people intention on the topics. I'm gonna to bring the topic live, all right? If you have important topics, inbox me, all right? Because together we can do something better, all right? This is not only, relaxing on my idea i you need my idea i need your ideas too all right in order to do something better in order to move forward all right Liberian baby. All right. You tell your comments. We have five more minutes to go. Sunday, we're going to be here live with you. I see a lot of people here that don't speak really English, that don't speak uh, English and uh, even my dingo, so this is French, you know. So I'm going to give them the thanks and appreciation for them in the language and then move forward. Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous remercie d'être là aujourd'hui, d'avoir discuté tous les problèmes qu'on en a dans notre pays, Liberia. Alors là, je vous remercie d'être là et dimanche à venir, on sera là aussi. On va vous emmener euh, une titre euh, qui dit « Est-ce que les Libériens s'aiment en dehors des Libériens ?» right. Once again, Mohamed Manjoutouré, right, your presenter of the day. On the topics of is all Liberian speaks English. What happened in their passport interview? If they are Madingo or even another tribe, if they cannot speak English, what happened? Tell us. All right, we have three more minutes to go. Very interesting Liberian music. All right, someday we're going to be here. Dimash Azuri, Mansurala, Meme Air. Thank you for bringing us together. We love that because we, we love and we appreciate togetherness, the unity, peace among us. Again, we have two more minutes to end the show. Don't forget Sunday to pay your comments. And see you Sunday. That's USA Life. You got to work hard. Você se é o
we have to come together, Liberians. Have to come together, Mama Liberia. Very interesting topic. Some of the most interesting people of Liberia. One more minute to go. I'm gonna tell you bye bye. One more minute, brother. I know people. Do you want me to go away? Tell me the truth. Do you want me to go away? Tell me the truth by by commenting. Because I know this is very interesting. Do you want me to go away? Tell me the comment. That's a pair of music, right? A same thing. Liberian, we need to see you together, right? One love. Love of liberty that brought all Liberian to Liberia. Right, we don't have no more minutes left. We'll be leaving you at this time, and we will appreciate your participation on Sunday. All right, your participation will be appreciated by Mohammed Manjutre of Newark, New Jersey, in the United States. All right, so your participation will be very much appreciable to me on Sunday. All right. Um, once again, mesdames et messieurs, uh, prenons du courage pour avancer ce qu'on est en train de faire. On parle de tous les problèmes parce que nous sommes des voix de 100 voix. All right. Nous sommes des voix de 100 voix. The voice of voiceless. All right. And that's what makes us people choice. All right. Voilà pourquoi nous sommes devenus le soir des uns. Okay. Mesdames et messieurs, on est là. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for being here. I think you want me to go against me already. So um, thank you. Bye bye. And uh, see you on Sunday. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Together we shall discuss and see you on Sunday. All right. Thank you very much for being here. Once again, Mohammed Manju Toure, CKA Tourism. All right. Um, this show was brought to you by your boy. All right. Mohammed Manju Toure, CKA Tourism, United States of America, currently. Bye bye.